hello and welcome back to my channel so today is the day we got the uh, highly spoken of boxy charm limited edition um, I opened this box it arrived yesterday I did uh, post a picture on my uh, Instagram and uh, it is a box that I've been looking forward to I've been waiting for everyone has what I did with this box is today's makeup I most I used most of the box or at least as much as I could use out of it just to give you an idea and have a better feeling of was it really worth the money that we ended up paying um, so I'll go right in and let you know what I felt and show you and do some swatches so this is the box we've seen many many pictures online I even posted the video on my um, playlist and um, just showing what items we'll get um, everyone ended up paying for this box or at least pre-ordering this box knowing nothing more than the brands that are going to be in it so all of us had no clue what was going to be inside but us addicts we'll do this we'll just go ahead and pay for something we don't even know what's in there when it comes to makeup so let's see what we have and first thing is the um, becca um, and this is the first light priming filter now one thing you want to be careful with this tube is you want to when you take it out and do this first squirt it'll just completely come out so be very careful I'll, I'll do a little bit of a dot here just a little drop to show you it comes out as a little purpley bluish purpley color um, and as you um, blend it in and just you know massage it in it's a very kind of a sheer um, color so it does give you a bit of shine and something I did today is I did use this as well as the cover effects that's why I have a feeling that my face is a bit too shiny mm -hmm. but I wanted to show you what it looked like if you used all the products so this is what it does it, it really feels nice it, it um, now it's completely dry with just a few um, you know strokes on it so this is what it is it does have a, a a little bit of a smell i can't really put my finger on it i don't like the smell um, i do like becca products but i really don't like this smell so i don't know to be honest if i'm going to continue to use it I have to wait and see the smell is my deterrent right now and it stays it's not a smell that comes and goes as you blend it in or or you know massage it in it it stays Next is the cover effects. These have been really, really sought after. This is the custom enhancer drops. Everyone is raving about them. Um, this one is in the color Blossom. So I did use this one. I might have gone a bit heavy on it. <laughs> I, I, what I did is I put a little drop and I mixed it with my um, foundation and my BB cream because I usually use a combination of BB cream and foundation. So um, we'll open this right up. We'll put a little dot right here, a little drop. And then this is what it looks like coming out. And then we'll just go in and massage this in. And then you'll see, I mean, it is very sheer. It's very shiny. It has a little tint to it that's uh, a bit... Um, I want to say like kind of gold rose gold rose goldy tint it's nice but i think i i, I seriously do think I, I put a bit too much tell me what you think tell me if if you think my face is too glowy i like it though i like it um i will definitely go less on it in the future um just maybe one drop instead of three i love it i think this was a hit it definitely was a hit i do like it i think the backup primer was also um a hit I'm just not too sure. It's just a personal um, opinion on the smell. So that's the second item that came in. We also knew that we were going to get a full spectrum um, eyeliner pencil. I did not use that today, but um, let me try and do a swatch for you. Um, this is Makeup Geek and it's in the color Obsidian. Let me try and open this and I'm going to just do a little so it's a it's very smooth going on it's a nice dark black um 
very very smooth going on so i think this is a good this is a good eyeliner for sure i just don't wear pencil eyeliners that much hardly at all actually but it's it's a nice one um so i will definitely keep that one for sure so so far the products are nice i mean we knew what the products were going to be so it's not like a total surprise but still it's nice to actually see it and get the box this was something I have been waiting for. I have never tried a Sigma brush. Um, I've always wanted to get one. It's just too expensive and I don't know. Every time I make a decision, I say, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. And then I back down. Anyway, so this came, it is a pointy um, tapper. This is a small tapered blending brush. It's the E45. Um, I love it. It feels so, so soft on the skin. I did try using it today and I had a hard time because it was so soft. I had a hard time actually getting it to blend. Um, it might have been just me, like a user error, but I'm not too sure. So um, I love it, but I and, and it might have been the shadows that I was using. And I'm going to talk about that in a bit but um not too sure about how i feel about it i'm gonna have to use it with other shadows to make a decision on this one sigma brush um, the next product was a pure big look um with argan oil mascara i will be using this so i will open it and look at it i did not use it today today i'm actually using the mark jacobs velvet noir um, which I am just fascinated by right now. I love it to death. So, oops, it's taking a hard time. So this is the brush. Let me try. So this is what the brush looks like. And um, it's, a, it's a straight brush. It's a bit flexible going in. If you can see this, it's actually flexible going in, which is a bit different. Um, I don't know. I think this might be good on um, lower lashes because it's so straight it is still a little thick but i have not tried it so i'm gonna go ahead and um, try this at some point and see how it feels um, and i'll let you guys know but next is the ofra um, advanced vitamin c cream um, we all knew about this one again i have not tried this one but i've heard about it uh, vitamin c creams are very good for your skin i've read about them so i look forward to using this for sure Next is the Tarte. Everyone was looking at this and raving about this Tarte palette. Uh, I'm going to have to say I am not happy with this palette. I have, this is, the, this is what I have on today. And it was just, it felt like the, the colors were not pigmented enough. Um, I kept trying to get, you know, it took me forever to get crease color in. It just really took me forever and ever. So this is what it looks like. You can see that I dabbed in, and this is just one time, and it was very, very hard. Like, I really had a very hard time getting colors um, to swatch and to actually get the colors on my, um, on my crease. It was really hard, and it was this color right here that I tried to use on my crease. Um, it's a little bit of a lavender, light lavender color. And also the combinations in here seem a bit off. Like I thought it would be a one, one palette does everything for you. Like you could do the one look with it. But it seemed like when you needed a little bit of a lighter brown, you got a um, lavender, a light lavender. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I did not like it. I did not like it. I love Tarte palettes. I have a number of them. I really didn't like this one. And I'm gonna try and swatch um, some of the colors for you. So this top one here, and just to kind of show you, um, you really can hardly see. I'm gonna try and do a little bit more just to kind of show you what the colors are like. So the darker colors, even the darker colors. So here's, that's the darkest color and it's more of a dark, a purpley color and you can really hardly see it and I've tried to put this on like two or three three, three swatches maybe now let me try on fourth one so I, I really I don't know I mean these are these are hard to put on and they're hard to blend 
I, and again, I don't know if it's user error, but um, I've put on a few eyeshadows in my life and uh, this, it just didn't work for me. So I'll, I'll swatch the other three colors for you so you can get an idea. Um, of course, this top one is just a basic neutral um, like base. I don't even know if you can see this is right here, right there, it's right there. And then this shimmery color and then the dark um, shimmery brown. And again, I'm, I'm swatching multiple times to get these colors. Um, so I'm just, I'm not a fan. I'm just not a fan, unfortunately. I mean, others might like it. I'm just not a fan. The center is a blush. So this blush is called um, Sensational. And um, this is a very uh, pigmented blush. So that I have to give the... The blushes, tart blushes are nice. They're quite pigmented. The colors are nice. So that's that's the blush right there. So it is a good color blush. It's more pinkish and I and I and I don't wear pink. I did wear it today. Um, I just tried to limit the color a bit because it was a little bit too much when I put it on the first time. So I tried to control the color. So I do like it. But as a whole, unfortunately, um, I think for me this is a miss for sure. I, I did not like this palette and I don't see myself going for it, to be honest, in the future. I really don't. Um, last product in this palette is a Bare Minerals. It's a Gen Nude Buttercream Lip Gloss. So it's a lip gloss. I don't wear nude lipsticks, so... I don't have much use for it. I knew that when I first saw the products um, announced, so, and I don't have it on today, but I'm gonna give you this swatch so you can see the color on my skin tone, and this is the color. So it is a lip gloss. It's a very nude colored lip, lip gloss, very sheer. So I guess you can put it on any color and it'll just give you that glossy feel to it. So I, I can see use for it. I definitely can. Um, but I'll probably give this to my daughter because she'll she'll make more use out of it than I do. I have a lot of glosses, so this will go to my daughter. Was it worth the money? Um, there's a few products I do like. Uh, a couple that I don't know. So these I, I like. I'm okay with these. I'm still not sure about the smell of that one. But I, I, I think I can use it. So these were a hit for me. Um, not sure what I'm gonna feel about these two. I'm gonna try them and see how they go. But definitely the palette um, was a miss. And I, I have no problem with the eyeliner either, but I'm not gonna use it. Um, so, but this was, a, I was looking forward to this. It looks beautiful, it's gorgeous. The packaging is beautiful. I just, it was a real miss for me. So that was it for the limited edition BoxyCharm. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thank you to my new subscribers for subscribing. Um, thank you for my current subscribers. I appreciate you for being here and watching. And um, I wanna thank you all. I really appreciate you helping me grow this channel. I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and comment and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.